Welcome Capricorns. I want to say thank you for being back. Capis or right. So Capricorns, let's look at the Pisces season. Welcome all newcomers. Thank you for being here. Please like and subscribe. And to the rest of uh, um, my subscribers, please um, uh, um, thumbs up, subscribe. Remember, you got to use the join button. Um, and for the extended people, thank you so much. There has been so much of you, you know, taking the subscription on Google for the extended readings. There is so much information, um, behind the extended. All right. Um, it is, um, the season of the Pisces. It's from the 19th of February until the 20th of February. Um, uh, let's look at your frequency and energy. The first week, um, uh, nine, uh, twice nine, ladies and gentlemen, twice nine. So a lot of ending is coming in and I see ending for a, a businessman. I see ending for a businessman, whoever this businessman is. I see an ending is coming up for this businessman. I see they recognize what this businessman have done. Who is this businessman? And I see an ending is coming up for this businessman. It is not showing whether it's a Taurus Virgo, or a Capricorn person, but I see that they were going to be offering this businessman some sort of an offer, but they're recognizing some sort of a deceptive play that this businessman have done for a Sagittarian person. So, you know, a whole lot of you businessmen had, was open for some sort of a new offer, but it's not going to be coming in because um, they recognize that you businessmen had created some sort of a deceptive, um, really a deceptive play for a Sagittarian person. And you have lost your power in a situation because they recognize what you have done. So... It is a situation where a lot of you, this is really a situation where a lot of you are going to be recognizing um, that, um, you know, I end this coming in. I end this coming in um, to your career for high professional people. Um, and we're looking at uh, um, people in civil servants or a CEO, CFO, um, that sort of a thing self-employed people you are good you're okay and you're good um things are um going to be flowing a lot of you that was being worked against on the work floor i see people are going to be recognizing a lot of you were kept down by a boss or a manager and didn't want you to flourish they're going to be recognizing the unfair game that this, this person have done and created against a whole lot of you um, you guys are dealing with the Aries, um, the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, bosses, or yeah, bosses, managers, supervisors, and uh, of course, you are dealing with an Aquarian, um, and um, some of you with a Sagittarian. So, um, be aware of these people because they're going to be recognizing that an Aries and uh, uh, you businessmen have created a real criminal situation a real offensive situation to um and you guys have worked together with a sagittarius to create a real horrible play and they're going to be recognizing um the cohoots that um you businessmen had with an aries person the cohoots that you guys have done and how you guys have uh, created some real um false situation um and uh, try to create some sort of a problem and issues for other people together with a Sagittarian. I end this coming up for your Sagittarian. They're going to cancel a Sagittarian contract. Also a uh, Aries. Also a uh, Aries. Um, and you businessmen are going to be caught up in this because you had also had collaborated. So um, they're going to be recognizing this. So ends are coming in. So we have two and seven is nine and nine is 18. 18, nine is your um, uh, energy. So in each um, 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 frequency of energies, periods, uh, 
um this is a nine um is and if nine is your lucky number which um you know you can it's going to be a very lucky cycle from the 19th of february until the 20th of february so if nine is a lucky number for you use it nine o'clock to make appointments that sort of a thing um then use it because it's going to be powerful in business and career for you guys all right let's look at the first week please write down your sweet stakes it's going to be um the second week or the third week when you show up people that was not being honest okay first week is from the 19th of february until the 28th uh, we see that you were expecting some sort of an offer to come in and um you know it's still open it is still open okay so for some of you it is still open um where is that you're trying to balance out because you you could have applied for something or yes and you're still waiting 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 to hear um whether or not it's going to be coming in okay so um it is about you applying for jobs you're looking for other position you're looking for other you're hoping for more hours you apply for more hours that sort of a thing um and it you know so it's a process of you apply you're waiting it's open all right so you know just it, the, the you know this this end of february is going to be like waiting for some sort of a response waiting for some sort of a response to come in and that sort of a situation and people are going to be recognizing that and that is going to be good so a wonderful wonderful alignment of energy but it is as if it is a time of waiting all right waiting because you have offered an uh, offer could have come in and you're trying to figure out do i want to take this offer and you're really looking at the details before you say yes um it's going to be a fire energy the first week so recognize that some of you could be dealing with an aries i see um aries could be leaving your company or corporation in the first week uh, all right i see some of you um you at all um offer um open up to an aries that sort of a thing and you're you're now thinking you know was that good or not okay so that sort of a situation then the sweet week is the second week because you have your own earth energy and you have the energy of uh the um earth of fire okay earth of fire you have the energy of earth of fire and the energy with earth of fire is that your stabil your stability and your financial stability is good and that is good especially for women because um and especially for business women that is going to be good but when we look at a businessman there is you know looking at the card in front and behind um you businessmen are are waiting for some sort of an offer and you're waiting 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 but this offer is not going to come in because they're going to be recognizing that you have done something in the past or you are have created some sort of an issue in the past and um you know that is what is going to be coming in and it's going to be happening and it's transpiring and people are going to be recognizing and picking up on what you businessmen have done in the past and this is going to be bringing some sort of an instability for you um in the scorpion uh, season so um businessmen you're going to be having some sort of an effect and a hit men 50 years and older that is in loan um service that is in service um it doesn't have to be service service but a work for a company a corporation you will be okay but businessmen you are going to be getting a it in the spicy season because they recognize what you have done so be aware of this then um um but um for people who wonder if they should which week they should do and make any changes in it's going to be the week of the 1st of march until the 7th of march um now is the time you can sign contract because we we are out of uh, the mercury retrograde 1st of march um we, we're out of the mercury retrograde okay but i will wait to sign contracts um between the mm, 20th and uh, 
yeah, uh, 15, fun of the 15, I will wait. So, you know, the shift of the Mercury retrograde don't catch you guys. Okay. So wait until after the 15 to sign contracts. So that is going to be good. Now, what is so, so crazy is that in the third week, a lot of you are going to be finding out about some sort of a horrible deceptive play with a contract. They're going to be recognizing that a contract was falsely or um, um, there was some hidden thing in a contract. And I see um, some of you showed this up. They're going to be recognizing um, that a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn man together with a Sagittarian tried to create some sort of a deceptive contract. And they are going to be recognizing this, that there was some sort of a deceptiveness with a contract and around a contract. And they're going to be finding this out in the third week. They're going to be recognizing that it has to do with a, um, a, a, you, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn man and they're going to be recognizing how this man have created some sort of a um, false way in order uh, to access you and get your information and to connect with you. And because of this, they are not going to be giving them the offer that they would have given him. So they recognize what this man has done. So a lot of you Capricorn, um, it's going to be recognized the dishonest play with a contract that um, someone came in to you in order to um, get your information. That was the reason why they have asked for your service is because they needed some sort of a information and they needed to have you mailing back and front so that they can use um, your stationery. But they're, they're, they're caught. They caught them in the third week and recognized that they were playing some sort of a horrible. So it's a situation at the workplace where people are going to be recognizing that someone was trying to falsify and create a business um, like theirs, and they're going to be recognizing what this person have done. And the offer that was open for this businessman is no longer going to be open. They're going to be shutting it down. And, uh, um, you know, he's going to be uh, uh, having some... But I see him giving up a Sagittarian and said, listen, a Sagittarian is the one who asked me to do it. And, you know, people are going to be looking and seeing how far the Sagittarian, that something is seriously wrong with the Sagittarian, how far the Sagittarian went to create so much things. They're going to be recognizing this person needs some help. Um, and you know, this, 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 whoever this um, person is, they're going to be giving up the Sagittarian and said, listen, I wasn't the one, the Sagittarian is the one that asked me, um, to connect with this person because apparently they could not access the person information or data and they connect with this person. So this is a huge situation that is going to be costing a lot of you businessmen and a lot of you managers your position because you um use the company information in order to acquire information from another company and access another company um and this is like a little bit of espionage okay the way you look at it it can because you um try to get on someone internet system because the person or the company had no business with you. And they're going to be recognizing, no, this is a, a form of espionage. The whole setup and the whole of what is happening is just a form of espionage. So, you know, I, a lot of you are going to say, no, the Sagittarian is the one who asked me. And the problem is that whoever the Sagittarian person is, they have been watching the Sagittarian person because they recognize that the Sagittarian have broken like, all the rules and regulation they are so recognizing um so the sagittarian is sitting on a slim limb but you're like i gotta get out of this because i'm losing at this uh, situation so i'm getting out and i'm giving up the sagittarian and sorry but i gotta save myself so i see a situation where a lot of you are going to be saving yourself and said listen the sagittarian is the one who came to me the sagittarian know that uh, 
you know the you know how the process is and the data and the information but they still wanted it to go this way so i see a lot of you are going to be throwing a sagittarian under the bus and it's not really throwing the sagittarian under the bus is that uh, this sagittarian has gone too far and i've dragged you along with some sort of a process and now you are saying to hear and no further um and i see an aquarian is going to be saying you gotta give up someone someone gotta give up or else you are the one who is going to be taking the splash for this so however it was coming up and happening this is what is transpiring this is what is going to be coming up um in this um uh, pisces P season so recognize uh, of where the sweet point is and 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 and, and who you have to come up against okay i really do care about you guys i love you um please check out in from the crystal of the symbols and choose one of the symbols to see how to deal with these issues as they come up in this timeline i gotta go but i'm saying namaste until next time